What's poppin' sis squad? It's Sid and I'm back with another video. As you can see from the title today, your girl will be exploring Fayum, okay? Today, my friend and I, we decided to take a private trip over to Fayum and go explore some of the things that they have over there. We're going to go shopping and we're just going to go sandboarding. Y'all remember before I came here, I said one of the things I wanted to do was go sandboarding. So your girl is finally getting to do it. I'm super duper 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 excited. Before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to turn on your post notifications so that you're notified when I post. Be sure to join the sis squad because if you're not a part of the sis squad, you're not a part of the best squad. And that's on period, okay? So we're just going to get straight into the video. Alright y'all, so it's 7.19. I'm about to be out the door in like two seconds, but I'm gonna give y'all a quick little outfit of the day. So this is the fit. These right here are some leggings from Nike. This right here is a crop top from H&M. These are Yeezys. And yeah, that's about it. Oh, this hat is not a cup. That's what this hat's for. But that's the outfit of the day. We are gonna get going and I'm gonna see you guys later. Y'all, so we made it to a little camp that has like a pottery place and it has this beautiful breakfast um, that we just ate and it was so good. Um, but I look so good. I'm having so much fun. Um, but when we leave, I'm gonna update you guys. All right, you guys, so I'm back with another voiceover. In this clip, we are walking into a pottery shop it was super cool because everything in here was handmade and the plates were also some of the plates that were featured in the restaurant that we just ate at. So the adventure is about to start. We are getting in one of these cars and we're about to go to the desert. This is the car we'll be riding in. I'm super excited. <laughs> This is Wadi El Hatan, which is a paleontological site which is known for its earliest forms of fossils of whales. Y'all, we made it to the desert. It's so magical. It's like so beautiful. Like, we are going to be out here getting in the car. Yes, we're going to be out here getting in the car. Like, we are going to be out here getting in the car. Can they say hey? Hey! <laughs> yeah, we're out here. So beautiful. Now we're walking into the Fossil and Climate Change Museum, which does an excellent job of explaining the geological history, nature, and the role of climate change on this area. 
Here are parts of Aleppo. While extant knowledge of the Holocene environments in Egypt is largely based on rock drawings, the Leopard Cave, located at the South Galala Plateau, provides unique evidence of the wetter climate which supported several locally extinct species, notably the leopard. This is the skull of a Moatherium elephant and a tusk of a Paleomastodon elephant. The Arsenotherium, dubbed the Fayum animal, is an extinct rhinoceros-like herbivore that lived from 36 to 30 million years ago in areas of tropical rainforest. Fayum is the only site where complete skeletons of the Arsenotherium fossils were recovered. Ancient whales have 44 teeth and two jaws and include incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. A present-day whale has primary teeth or baleen. Of all the reptiles alive today, crocodiles may be the least changed from their prehistoric ancestors over 65 million years ago. Its earliest ancestor lived around 240 million years ago. The presence of crocodile fossils at Hitan helps reconstruct the surrounding environmental and ecological conditions of the time. This was a box with different fossilized items that I thought were cool. Included were seashells, corals, and crabs, and more. This is the largest intact skeleton of the Bacillosaurus Isis whale. Not gonna lie, our tour guide told us this was a mermaid, but now that I'm looking it up, it's actually a Sirenia, which is a sea cow. Not as cool as I thought. Behind us is Mudawara Mountain. It pretty much means like a circle or ring, and we're gonna climb to the top of it. Thank you. Woo! Keep climbing. It's so pretty behind us. Kanae, we made it! Welcome to the Magic Lake. The most beautiful view ever, y'all. So beautiful, look behind us. Hello, good. Good. <laughs> yeah, so we're on our way to Sandboard. I'm super excited. Y'all know how much I've been wanting to Sandboard. I am about to try to do some tricks and act like I'm a professional. Hopefully, I don't bust my behind. We're at Magic Lake Camp. It's super pretty. Look at everybody here. Look at the beautiful lake. The lake is so pretty. Like, and my feet in sand. I'm <laughs> about to get to a point of. Where can we?
You got it! Wax it. It's okay. This. <laughs> yes! Yay! Good job! <laughs> yeah, y'all can't tell me I did not just look like a pro sampled it. Like your girl sampled it and did not even fall. Like, I'm really like that. Okay? I'm drinking a lot of water because it's super hot out here. And I don't want to get dehydrated. Running up that hill takes a lot of work. Woo! And these guys, they've been attacking me all day. My entire body's gonna feel this workout tomorrow, but I'm about to continue having fun. So, I'm gonna see y'all. Much fun, guys. Buddy. It was a blast. We had so much fun. Um, it was a great trip. What? We about to go eat now because we're all starving. Like starving. Oh, and the hat is full. Uh -oh, about to fly off. So we about to continue driving. Here you can see the guys taking the food from the cooking pit, which is one of the simplest and most ancient cooking structures. An earth oven is a pit in the ground used to trap heat and bake, smoke, or steam food. This method of cooking was used in the Bedouin culture. These are nomadic Arab tribes who have historically inhabited the desert regions in the Arabian Peninsula, North Africa, and the Mesopotamia. Y'all, so we just got to back to the camp and we're about to eat dinner. Today was like the best day ever. Like this whole week has been super good to me and I'm super thankful and all glory be to God that I'm here and I'm so thankful for this whole opportunity because it's just amazing. But I'm super excited to eat because a girl is starving. Like when I tell you my stomach is in my back. Lord, I want to thank you for this wonderful day that I got to spend with KK and Sid. Thank you for affording us this opportunity. We are so appreciative to you. And thank you for the food that we're about to eat, for the nourishment and strength for our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. I actually really like this soup, though. This soup is good. Oh, yeah, I love it. Actually, oh, we had to send for God. Mm. Somebody tell me what this is. Cause, um, I know it's this food bad. is so good. Sayum. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna try to skip out mm. India. I'll try to India for them. Mm. Like it was them so good. Oh, okay. 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 place we've been at it's so amazing we're gonna drop all the links down below for you guys to come and visit thank you so much <laughs> Alright you guys, so that was the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so very much. This tour was amazing, 10 out of 10. In the description down below, I will put all the information for you guys to book the same tour. Um, but I really had so much fun, like it was so amazing. The tour guide, the food, the experience, the sandboarding, the museum, literally everything, 10 out of 10. Be sure to give this video a huge like, comment, share, and subscribe subscribe make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out on more egypt content i love you guys so much and until next time bye sis squad <laughs>